Hello, everybody. My name is Sandra E. Jackson, and I am an author. I would like to walk you step by step with creating a Google Doc form to receive payments from your clients. Walk with me. All right, I'm pulling up my forms and this is the first form. Let me go back. Um, so you're gonna find that form with clicking these dots right here at the top right of your screen. Let's do that. You're gonna scroll down all the way down to the bottom. You're gonna see this beautiful purple, which is my favorite color. You're gonna click it, it says forms. All right, now at the top left, you're gonna see um, a beautiful cross. It says, start a new form. You click that. And right here, this is my favorite. So it says, untitled forms. You can take a tour as well to find out, but we're gonna do this. So you're gonna go to the top of your form and let's say I'm going to create a form for my product, life after dot, dot, dot. This is a product that I have coming out in like four days. So I will go here and create that. Um, and then you will say pre-order forms. You type that and then you go down here at the description and let's go, um, I'm going to copy and paste this from my form. Um, whatever your description is, you wanna put that here, just like that. Now the top portion is complete. Um, the next portion, you're gonna go here and you're gonna delete this. Let's delete it. You click it, click the form, and then you'll see a garbage can come up and it says delete, you delete that. Then you go back here and on your right-hand side, you're gonna see different things. Add a question, um, important questions, add a description. Um, I'm gonna delete that. So we're gonna add a question. The question um, you can put is email because you want their email address. So you wanna type in email address. Make sure you spell everything correctly. And then you go to the next. Right here is the page. You're gonna duplicate this page, all right? That's gonna help you. So when you finish with that, um, let's see, you go here is a short answer and then you're gonna duplicate. You duplicate and right here on the right-hand side, you're gonna see title and description. You wanna put a picture in there, right? So let's see, right here, you see the image, you click image on the right, and then it says browse. You can go on your camera to upload. You click browse and I'm going to upload my, um, Let's see, I will upload, you go to your uploads. I will go into my settings and I will see life after dot, dot, dot advertisement. You click on the one you want. You click down at the bottom, it says open. And voila, coming in September, look at that. So you're gonna go here and you will delete this because you don't need it. You will delete um, this one because you don't need it. Sometimes you get extra ones, right? And so you go, oops, go back to your form. Just in case you get out of your form, you can click right back in it just like I did. And you wanna click that out. All right, so on the right side, you will see add a question, you add a question and you duplicate. Always remember to do that, add a question and duplicate. So now you are gonna wanna get their address, right? Because when you they order, you want your client's address. So you put address there and then you duplicate. All right, then you put their phone number. phone number, and then you duplicate. 
All right. And then the next one should be city, state, um, and zip code. Let's do that. City, comma, state, zip code, and then you duplicate. All right. And then depending on what you're looking for, um, you will, I guess, what else can we do? City, state, zip code, um, phone number, email address, and how many copies or how many products your person will want. So let's do how um, number of copies, let's do that. Number of copies. And guess what? You're almost finished with this form. So you go there and you're finished with that part. You wanna add another question so you can submit your um, payment, all right? So you wanna put your payments on here. I'm gonna do this and you're gonna say payment slash, um, let's see, let's go to my form. It says payment and contacts, yes. So you wanna go payment and contact information, info. All right, and then I want to just, um, put my information right here on the form. Um, I'm sorry for that mistake. So you just wanna type your payment slash contacts, and then you're going to copy and paste. So go wherever you have those and you'll copy and paste your payment and contact information. I have mine right here, so I'll put it there on the form, right? And there you have a form. You have your form and you have your image, which is that. You have the name, your email, your questions, your address, your phone number, and the num number of copies that they will want. And so if they want to purchase five or 10 copies, they will put that right there. And then you will go here, let's do this, click send. Send will allow you to see everything. You're gonna go to the middle, you'll see send via email, send, and then you'll click the middle, it looks like a, um, like a, what is it? Paper clip and you will see your link. But I love this form because you can shorten your link and make it smaller, uh, shorter. And then you copy just like that. And then you can go out of here. You copy your link and that's your link. Um, here is where you go for your responses. So if anybody purchases your item, you will see it right here. And I'm gonna show you on mine. This is the next step. You click on settings and you want to receive responses. So you'll turn on your responses via email. You wanna click on the arrow going down. You wanna receive, always receive responses. And then you're gonna to go to this part right here. It says presentation. You click the arrow down and you wanna make sure that your link and everything is there for you. You wanna show in your toolbar, um, whichever one is feasible for you, that's the one you want. You can click these and receive emails. And if you have to make, um, if you wanna make questions available, you can click on that as well. But we have done all that we need to do in here and you do this again. And then everything on this is finished. Um, and remember, this is, your, this is your link. And then you wanna make sure you set up your PayPal, right? So you go to PayPal, I'm gonna log into my PayPal. Um, let's do this one, my business account. Um, and I'm gonna walk you through creating, give me one moment, yes. So I'm gonna walk you through creating 
an item that you can sell on social media. So you click on your PayPal right here and you see everything there, right? Here, sell on social right there. Next to it on the right, you'll see three dots right here. You click the three dots and then you'll see manage listings. You click on manage listings and here you will see add product. I have products. Um, I wanna show you one of mine maybe. Um, no, so let's go add products. So you will take this form and whatever your product is, you will click this and add your photo. I'm just gonna put anybody's in here, right? Um, because this form will not allow you to move past this part, you must add a product here. Then type in life after dot, dot, dot for your name, all right? Your product name. And then you'll put in a description, whatever your description is. We're gonna say uh, 21 author collab, all right? And then you're gonna put the price output 21.99. And then you want to make sure you do USA or wherever you are from, um, USD is going to be there. Now, you have an option. Um, decide for shipping, uh, free shipping, flat rate shipping. I always do flat rate shipping. And you have to account for your envelopes, your stamps, and your mailing. So I do $7 or whatever you want to do. And voila, you click Create. And look at that, you have a link. And look, it says your product link is ready. So you click on get link. And it says it's gonna copy it to your clipboard, right? So I wanna find out what my, um, let's see. Then you have QR code, you can share it to Facebook. You can also share it to, um, what is this called? It is called, um, I want to say Instagram, but that's not Instagram. You know what it is. All right, so you get your link. And for some reason, uh, let me go back. Oh, there it is right there. So life after, and you click on it. That's your link. You share your link. You can edit your link or you can delete your link but we wanna share it. And so I'm gonna get my link and share it. Let's share it on Facebook or wherever. And then you can pull it up and share it anywhere. Thank you for your time. I hope this video has helped you um, go step-by-step step through creating your form, which is your Google form right here. Um, you have a form. Oh, oh I, wanna, I wanna show you one more um, thing. Right down here, you should see, um, when you go back on your form, you will see a pencil, like an edit. If you wanna go back in there and edit, it's gonna be down at the bottom to your right. All right, that's the last thing. Thank you for your time and you enjoy the rest of your day. My name is Sandra E. Jackson and the E stands for ecstatic because I am ecstatic to be alive. And I pray to God, you are as well. Bye-bye. Perfect. That was perfect. You are so good. I can't even stand it.